Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add a new user to your Shopify store. Here's how you do it. Just go into your Shopify dashboard, go down to settings down the bottom and click plan and permissions. So settings, plan and permissions. It's gonna open up this page here and this is where we add in the new user. Here, I'm the owner here, so that's me. Here it says staff accounts. Customize what your staff members can edit and access. We're gonna add a new account. It's gonna to go to this page. We're gonna put in the name of the person we wanna add. So I wanna add in Billy and their email address. Put in the email address of the person you wanna add. The next thing you need to do is set their permissions. Automatically, it adds them with full access. We might not want this, depending on if they're a developer, designer, customer service representative, we wanna give them the access that they need, okay? There's no point giving um, your customer service representative access to edit the whole website. You know, that's kind of dangerous. They might accidentally click something and destroy something, who knows? So what I like to do is think about what role they're in and what do they need access to? So here, you can select to give them just access to editing the theme or even also blog posts, navigation, domains. If someone's a developer, I might give them access to all of those. If they're customer service representative, they might just need access to orders and drafting orders and, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so you need to choose this for yourself depending on the role. What I like to do sometimes is I'm gonna add my own email in here and add myself as a staff account with a different email address than my ownership um, email address. And so I can test out to log in as a staff and see, okay, do I have enough access or do I have too much access? Okay, so once you do that, this one's gonna be all access. Just click send invite. That's gonna then send them an email, okay? The email is gonna be here, it looks just like this. This is what they're going to see. And it's gonna say, welcome to your store name. Uh, the owner has invited you to, to be a staff member. And they just click this button here. It takes them to a page just like this. They put in their, their name, their password, click create. They can now access your store. And that's with the exact permissions that you set um, in, that, in that page. It's really, really easy. If you want to add multiple people, just add um, other stuff accounts. Click add a stuff account here and just keep adding them in. If you want to remove someone, super easy as well. Just click their name. Once you've added them in, go down and click remove. There it is. And then it's going to ask you for your password. Super easy. Just put in your password, remove. There it is. And then now, boom, they're no longer here. They're no longer a staff member. You can also pause them. There was an option above them, but that's how you add staff members into your Shopify store. Super, super easy. I hope that was helpful, guys. I recommend checking out my other videos. I teach all about building an e-commerce store and running paid traffic and how to scale it up. Um, if this video was helpful, let me know in the comments below. Just say, hey, Sam, you, you fixed it. You helped me with this. It was confusing and you solved this for me. I really appreciate that. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.